This is a presentation of Welcome Malala, where we bring you fun and informative videos from within our community. In this episode, Malala welcomes Dave Jackson, me, where I'll introduce you to the Malala Rodeo Walk of Fame. Malala's rodeo history comes alive with the Rodeo Walk of Fame. Started in June 2013, the Walk of Fame portrays rodeo greats from the champion riders to clowns, breeders and stock, and even the buckaroo queens. The 15 by 18 sand cast bronze plaques are in the ground in front of City Hall in the heart of downtown and now spread for many blocks in every direction from our shopping district so citizens and visitors alike can search for their favorite star while enjoying the many shopping and dining opportunities that the streets of Malala has to offer. The Rodeo Walk of Fame was created by the Malala Centennial Committee back in 2013 in celebration of the 100-year anniversary of the city's incorporation. Original design concepts were created by Dave Jackson and put into finished form by the casting company. The project was initially funded by local businesses, patrons, the City of Malala, and the Mount Hood Tourism Council. The Rodeo Walk of Fame today is managed by the Malala Area Chamber of Commerce and team, a 501c3 formed for the economic improvement of Malala and with the cooperation of the city of Malala itself. America's rodeos are living legacies of the working cowboy. The idea of a rodeo here was born from the town's desire to celebrate the arrival of the train, making the Buckaroo Roundup, as it was known the third established rodeo taking place in Oregon. The Buckaroo, and yes, it's misspelled that way as B-U-C-K-E-R-O-O, -O, which was originally held in the fields near Malala, grew rapidly in its first few years, and the date was eventually changed to the first week of July to celebrate the birth of the nation. Initially, local firefighters sponsored the event as a way to raise funds for their equipment needed to fight the town's fires. In 1923, the Malala Buckaroo Association was formed and took over operation of the rodeo. The Buckaroo Association began construction of an arena soon after taking over the operation, and in 1925, the rodeo had its first permanent home at the downtown location where Long Park, the strip mall, and the fire station are today. Over time and many years, as the city grew and the stadium was in need of repairs, the Buckaroo was moved in 1977 to a shiny new stadium next to Clark Park in the northeast corner of town, where it continues the cowboy rodeo tradition and celebration of the nation's independence. Thank you for spending time with Welcome Malala. We hope you enjoyed this episode and that you will come back for more and share with your friends.